In the serene mountains of a distant land, there stood a monastery that was home to a wise and revered monk named Masterly. His reputation for unwavering self-control had spread far and wide, attracting people from all corners seeking guidance and enlightenment. Masterly had spent decades mastering the art of self-control. He had learned to tame his desires, emotions, and impulses, transcending the mundane distractions of the world. His every action was deliberate, guided by inner wisdom and compassion. One day, a young disciple named May arrived at the monastery, eager to learn from Master Lee. May had heard tales of the monk's incredible self-control and yearned to cultivate the same discipline within herself. She had struggled with impulsive behavior and sought guidance in finding inner peace. Master Lee took May under his wing, recognizing her sincere desire to grow. He began her training with simple tasks, teaching her to focus her mind, control her breath, and observe her thoughts without judgment. May struggled initially, her mind wandering and her impulses pulling her away from the present moment. Undeterred, May continued to practice diligently, inspired by Master Lee's unwavering composure and gentle guidance. Over time, she began to witness glimpses of the self-control she sought. She discovered that by observing her desires and impulses without attachment, she could choose not to act upon them. Through practice, May realized that true freedom lay in mastering oneself. As May progressed, Master Lee introduced her to more challenging tests of self-control. He would place tantalizing treats before her, knowing her weakness for sweets. May would sit in meditation, observing the desires and cravings arising within her. Despite the temptation, she chose not to indulge, realizing that the momentary pleasure of the treat would only lead to fleeting satisfaction and distract her from her spiritual path. Master Lee's lessons extended beyond the physical realm. He taught May the importance of controlling her emotions, especially in the face of adversity. He shared stories of his own struggles and how he had learned to respond with equanimity and compassion. May listened intently, recognizing the profound wisdom embedded within Master Lee's teachings. One day, a fellow disciple confronted May, hurling insults and provoking her. May felt her anger rise, her fists clenching in response. But she remembered Master Lee's teachings, taking a deep breath and grounding herself in the present moment. Instead of reacting impulsively, she responded with kindness and understanding, diffusing the tension and transforming the situation into an opportunity for growth. Years passed, and May blossomed under Master Lee's guidance. Her self-control became second nature, woven into every aspect of her being. She became a beacon of serenity and wisdom, admired by her fellow disciples and revered by those who sought her counsel. Upon Master Lee's passing, May assumed the role of guiding the next generation of disciples. She carried the flame of self-control forward, teaching others to navigate the complexities of life with grace and discipline. Her gentle yet firm presence inspired countless souls to embark on their own journeys of self-discovery and self-mastery. In the annals of the monastery's history, Master Li and May's names were etched as paragons of self-control. Their story resonated through the ages, reminding humanity of the profound transformation that could be achieved through disciplined choices and the mastery of one's own mind and heart.